Welcome to DataBuild's Audio Visual Instruction. This session looks at GST Reporting Basics. Click the General Ledger icon on the main toolbar and then click the Tax Details icon in the General Ledger toolbar. The GST Details screen appears. The GST Transaction tab displays transactions for GST paid and GST collected. The totals are down the bottom of the screen. Enter in a date range for the period. In this case it's the 1st of the 10th 10 to the 31st of the 12th 10. And then click the From button and the system displays only those transactions within the date range. Check the totals. Now go to the Reports drop down menu and process a tax report. As you can see, all the transactions for the period are contained in the report. The last page displays a summary and you can transpose the figures to your BAS statement or the ATO portal. Make sure you either print the report or save the file to disk so you have a backup copy of your GST report. This is very important. Now you are ready to process the tax transactions and the system will create the relevant tax office invoices. Before we do that, let's look at our GST setup. Now this will be done when you first set up your system. It contains a tax office supplier and job and the general ledger accounts associated with GST reporting. Back to processing. Let's go ahead and process these transactions. I just check the dates to make sure they haven't been changed and check the totals which look familiar. Click the update icon. The system creates the proper transactions for the tax office. All the transactions will disappear. That's because the show unpress processed only is ticked. If you untick that, it'll show all the transactions. Notice that it's turned the processed transactions blue. If you click all dates, you'll notice that there's other transactions that haven't been processed. You can choose your own option. If we look at the GST Updates tab, we can see the updated GST transactions from the past you can reverse a GST batch if necessary. GST reporting very easy in data build. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.